there. This is Marty Bean of Be The Runner, and I'm just going to show you some uh, of the dynamic warm-ups that I usually do, starting with leg swings. And uh, basically, you just want to find a place where you can grab onto a fence or something like that uh, and face it, and you're going to swing one leg from side to side. You swing it pretty much as high as you can swing it, and I usually do about six or eight times. Then just switch to the other leg. You want to stand nice and upright. Um, with a nice tall, uh, nice tall torso, and uh, and be relaxed in your upper body as well. So again, six or eight times, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn to the side, hold on with one hand, and the leg that's closest to the fence, you're going to swing that front to back. Again, nice and high as you can. You know, I don't seem to be able to do it with a straight leg, but many people can. If you can, that's great. So whatever works for you, and then of course turn around and do it on the other side. Um, same thing as the other time, about six or eight in a row. You can do more, you can do a few less, but whatever you uh, feel like doing until you feel like you're uh, well warmed up. The next two are going to be the high knees and butt kickers, which are sort of a companion exercise. It's pretty simple. You're just going to run almost in place, but you can certainly travel. I usually go about 20 or 30 meters, uh, much farther than is demonstrated here. The butt kickers, your upper legs want to stay almost pointed directly to the ground and you literally kick your butt with every step. So those are pretty simple too. Numbers eight and nine, heel walking and toe walking. These are to really build some strength in your lower leg. So walk on your heels with your toes pointed forward and then you're going to turn your toes outward and I always tell people look like you're walking like a penguin and then turn your toes inward as if you're severely pigeon-toed. Um, and then Again, you could do that for about 20 or 30 meters, uh, much farther than here. Then you're going to do a similar thing with up on your tippy toes. So um, right here you can see I've turned my toes outward, and then I'm going to turn my toes inward to finish up the exercise. I'm going to show you another angle too, basically looking straight down at my feet. So as you start off, this is the heel walking, so your toes are pointed straight forward, and then after a few steps you're going to switch to your toes pointed outward. Um, and then you're going to turn them inward as well. You may feel a nice stretch along the front side of your hip when you turn your toes inward and walk. Then just turn around and do the same thing but up on your toes. So get up on your toes as high as you can reach and walk forward with your toes pointed straight ahead and then point your toes outward and then after several steps of that you're going to point your toes inward. And that is pretty much it.